So my name is Martin Gonzalez, and within the Latinx community, I identify as a cisgendered uh, male. So my name is Sadie Gastelum, um, and I identify as a Chicana. Um, you can also, I guess, say sig woman. I think I also go by Mexican American just because a lot of people don't know the meaning of Chicana or Chicano or Chicanex or Chicanismo. So I feel like sometimes to make it easier on people and not have to necessarily go through and explain what it is, I think most of the time I identify as Mexican American. So my name is Odalis and I identify as Mexico American within the Latinx community. So my identity is who I am as a person. It colors the way I interact with other people, the way I react to things, the way I process information, like everything that I am as a person gives me my personality. You can say that, yeah. So for me, my identity means the world. It honestly means a lot because it has shaped exactly who I am. Even now, as a staff here at Pacific, I try to give back and to help the students from, you know, students who can identify with me because I just think it's so important for for us to see each other and see leaders in people that look like us. I do uh, love our culture and it, it means a lot to me. It's a huge part of my identity. You know, just these past couple of days I've been to as many, you know, Day of the Dead festivities as I can and participated in some of the events. And so, you know, I love our food. It means a lot. It's a huge part of my identity. Um, and I'm very glad to be, you know, Latino. <laughs>I think the Latinx word just means inclusivity. I think it's teaching a lot of people about the fact that we don't all, you know, identify as a man or a woman or a girl or a boy. And I think that brings, you know, a big topic to our community because a lot of us, even, you know, me back when I, when I wasn't informed, when I didn't know about this, I feel like because the topic has, was not brought up, we just don't talk about it, you know? I feel that changing the, the way that you speak and changing your the way that you communicate with other people is a first step to a big change. At the next to me, it doesn't really mean much. I don't use it. It's more of a term that other people use to identify brown people from Latin America. So at the next is just something. It's like the term Hispanic. It's like, it wasn't... We don't call ourselves Latinx among ourselves. We like identify within like our nationality or our parents' nationality. But Latinx, like Hispanic, is a term to like categorize and make it easier for people to understand where we're from. I think some of the issues within the Latinx community that are going on is the racism within like our own community, um, the racism and like segregation with that we have of our own people. For example. Oaxacan people, people from Oaxaca, they're known to be very dark. And so because of that, they're not seen as beautiful. I think to see racism within our own community is just hurtful because we feel it here in the United States. We feel it, you know, all the time or we can feel it all the time. And, you know, to see our own people who are being, you know, receivers of that racism to also then practice themselves is just very hurtful. It's painful. It's it's disgusting to see. You know, I hate it. Our inability to think about other people that isn't us, for sure that's, that for me is like something that we need to address like now, especially with the way the atmosphere that has been created due to Donald's elected presidency or whatever. Um, our inability to support other marginalized groups because somehow we think that like if we support them we're gonna forget about our struggles where we need to be united and supportive of each other. I think people should really should really check their privilege. I think you should acknowledge that and I think you should know your power. Um, and that's not necessarily in a bad way. I think that you should become an ally to a lot of the and I hate the word minorities, <laughs> but I think to I think to become an ally to, you know, LGBTQ+ plus community to the um, Chicano community, to the undocumented community, to the immigrants community. I think that 
the the only way that we can all rise together is by becoming allies and by making sure that everybody is treated with um, equity.